Hola, Truth Consciousness Seeds from Cascada Café Retiro in Popayan, Colombia. Man is different than other living beings since he has stopped along the way adapting himself to his environment and has adapted the environment to himself. This comment is more true than ever as we notice the degradation of our planet and the suicidal path that our species insists on following. There are, however, millions of us who want to live and act differently. There are presently two human species. The old one behaves according to the old animal-based survival program. For those who choose this path, fear and suffering fill their days and nights. They live in hell on earth. The new species is learning to jump out of survival mode and on a daily basis to choose paradise on earth in an immortal body. Animal plus choice equals human. Human plus consciousness equals idesic being. The internal pull inside some of us is so strong that the choice becomes obvious. But first, I need to understand the world in which I live and the role I have unconsciously chosen to play in it. Everything started when my ancestors left the Garden of Eden. All animal species are guided by a collective soul, a deva. This is very obvious when one watches leafcutter ants at work, wasps in their nests, fish traveling in shoals, or geese in bee formation. The human species officially started when a critical mass of big apes started to think. It marked the appearance of an evolved mental body. Humans stand out from other animals because for the first time in history of the cosmos, an intelligent animal also owns an individual soul. This winning combination of an advanced mind and a single soul is what makes human beings different from all other entities in the universe. Angels and gods can go back to bed. I, human being, have won the lottery. This individual soul of mine allows me the human to have direct access to Idessa. The problem is, I don't know what to do with this incredible treasure. I continue to behave as a herd animal, just like my ape ancestors did. What a waste. The big, fearful, unconscious ape, although he's proud owner of an individual soul, spends all of his time in survival mode. This big fearful monkey who forgets about his soul and continues to behave like a herd animal has been given a name by Guy. She calls him Egoliath. We've all heard of ego, but what is Egoliath? The ego is the shadow, the distorted projection of my soul. It is a personality that is separated from reality. In humans, the ego appears mm -hmm. as the, at the embryonic stage and it is there to help me survive until I become aware enough. As I sink deeper and deeper in the survival program, my ego gets totally trapped. I understand it as my personality, and it has many sub-personalities. Ego life is the character in a theatrical play that I take for my life in order to survive as long as possible, because ego only survives with this physical body, Ego quickly learns to alter his behavior according to any new circumstance, modifying his role from the fearful husband to the good parent, the strict teacher, the good dentist, the lazy child, the modern employee, etc. We can find inside us a whole crowd of characters who spend their time arguing with each other as to who will gain control of the body, take over the steering wheel of the bus. These characters are screaming so loud that I cannot hear my soul, who is quietly sitting in the last seat of the bus, waiting for me to grow in consciousness and realize that the soul is the real me. There will be no more internal war between all the false ego characters once I give control of this body to my true self, the soul. Individualization. Sooner or later, the hellish war between the various ego Artistic characters becomes impossible to bear. Total disorder ensues, and 
To help me get out of this chaos, my soul invents and creates situations that become more and more traumatizing from one life to the next. Finally, the day comes when I realize that animal survival is a dead end and I decide to stop all the suffering. I start letting go of all egotistic habits and I start listening to my soul's advice. Order starts appearing in my life. This is the process of individualization and allows me to change from a fearful animal to a sovereign and conscious being. When this transformation will be complete for a critical mass of human beings, they will be able to create the ultimate phase of evolution on earth, an idesic being incarnate in man. The big picture helps us understand the evolution of consciousness. The sheep is an ideal herd animal to use in order to to symbolize the first two steps of human evolution. The white and black sheep correspond to the two main vibratory frequencies of our body when it is under the control of the ego and its old animal survival program. In the center of the diagram lies the transformation where I take the decision to change once and for all. That is when I decide to abandon the sheep mode in order to become a sovereign mare. I then allow full control of the soul and I start acting in daily life only according to her advice. The sovereign mayor spends her time unraveling the old survival program and progressing step by step to the next evolutionary level, the wing mayor. The wing mayor represents the fusion of earth and sky, matter and spirit. The fusion is the ultimate goal of evolution from the first living cell until today. I invite you to come to the Colombian Coffee Fork called Cascada Café Retiro in Popayan, Colombia. I offer a five-day workshop on the evolution of human consciousness, February 3rd to 7th, 2020, in English, and March 2nd to 6th, 2020, in Spanish. I encourage you to stay for a few weeks to integrate this information into your body cells, learn some Spanish, and start making a concrete action plan. Yes. There is a solution.